Hi all, so Revit 2026 is out and it's time for me to install it on my computer. So the first thing that we need to do before we install Revit is to make sure that our computer will, is compatible with the installation requirements. To find that information out, Autodesk have this wonderful page set up with all the information about Revit 2026 including the enhancements or changes that have occurred between Revit 2025 and Revit 2026, the issues resolved, so that's the problems that people had advised Autodesk that they'd found in Revit 2025, uh, they're identifying here the list of those that have been fixed in 26, and then we have our installation requirements. So if we click on this page, the main thing to consider is what version of Windows you are running. So Revit 2026 is supported on Windows 10 64-bit and Windows 11 64-bit. So this means that if you have a 32-bit version of Windows, you can't run Revit on it. So I have a 64-bit version of Windows on my computer, so I am fine there. For more detailed information with regards to the amount of RAM that you require, um, the type of video card, all of that kind of thing, um, you can click on uh, this link here to Revit Configuration and Licensing and it will take you through a whole bunch of different options. So to access the Revit files for installing, you will need to log into your Autodesk account. Once you're logged into your account, click on the product and products and services tab at the top here and then scroll down to Revit. You'll see a number of options here so when you click on the year it will give you uh, a number of different versions that you can access if you want to install an older version of Revit but the aim for me today is to upgrade to Revit 2026 so I will leave it on that. If you click on the next uh, you will see that the 64-bit version of Windows is our only option and you can change your language over here in this third option. From there, if you click on this arrow here, it allows you to either just simply install using all the default settings or to do a custom install and today I will be doing just your standard install. So, uh, the other thing to consider here is if you click download it will start downloading immediately and that way it will save the download files and then it will allow you to take a bit more control over installing. If you have issues with your internet then I typically recommend that you do this one. Um, it will stop you from having hanging issues in your install process so it does frequently go smoother if you click download first. However today I'm going to take my chances and I'm going to just click on the install button. So when we click on install we get um, an, a statement saying that we accept uh, their terms of, con of use and their privacy statement. Um, I do recommend that you have a read of both of those. Um, I have done this already so I'm going to click on accept. So this has now started to download my file and we will let that uh, do its thing and we will come back once it's downloaded. Okay, so it is saying that the download has happened, so now we can open it. It will come up with this message, you're the one that's uh, trying to up to install so it is okay to press yes. So we're now just going to take some time waiting for it to prepare the uh, installer program. Okay, so we now have our uh, installer program ready to go and it is letting us know that this installation includes um, an update so that means that once you've installed this you won't need to go back and install this update so we'll click on next all right we're letting uh, Revit install um, the software where it uh, is recommending 
just be aware if you do change this because you've got two external uh, two internal hard drives um, sometimes it can cause some issues uh, having said that it's been a while since I have tried doing that so maybe they have fixed that up but my C drive is perfectly fine for installing this and now we sit back and we wait Okay, so it looks like it's nearly there. It says it's complete, but once it shows the finish uh, button highlighted, we will be able to click on that and it will definitely be finished. So we'll just wait a few more minutes. As you will notice, and if you've done this before, you'll be well aware this is not a quick process. And uh, it just need to be patient and let it do its thing. So because I'm recording this, I can't restart this now. So I'm going to click Not Now. Uh, and then I will uh, stop the recording and I will start it again shortly once I have rebooted my computer. OK, so I have rebooted my computer and I now have uh, Revit 2026 on my desktop. So let's fire it up. Okay, so first time we fire it up, this is new. I don't remember seeing this before. I will leave this for now, so I'm going to go skip. And there we have it. We have Revit 2026 up and running on our computer. Thank you for watching.